Right about. Backpack that barks. It's out. Nah! Little spotted mosquito fish. Satisfied content right there. Do you wanna go catch minnows for the bass? Sorry, I just had my mouth full. Baby bass eats more than you do. Come on, go get your bag. Let's go. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on, go, 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 go. Get in the bag. Get in. Get in. That's a good boy. We're gonna see in this video how long 24 hours these minnows last with a baby bass. With a bass. The backpack that barks. Oh, I almost dropped the dog. That wouldn't have been good. Get your net, get ready, Leo. Oh, you're in a net. All right, we just pulled up to the spot. You stay here and be a good boy. All right, so Leo's gonna opt out of this little adventure real quick. I need to grab my other net. This is gonna be super quick. Hopefully the minnows are cooperative and they're very close by. Oh, I wish I had my pole, looks like a nice bass that was right there. Tell you what, this little bass is eating me out of house and home and now that I have the cichlids in there too, they are eating like crazy. Gotta go down here, hopefully I don't fall in. No, looks like I'm gonna have to go down there where it's a little more sunnier where I can see them. What I do for my fish, what I do for my fish. Now the big black net broke in the last video, so I only have this little small one right here, which is good and bad. It's good because the holes are smaller, but the pole of the net itself is not as long. So good luck to me here. Yeah, this is the spot. This is the spot where I caught the minnows in the last video when I was getting food for this bass. A little bit of water. So we had a good lucky streak. We were able to get some big ones at this one canal last time, but now I've been stuck getting these small little ones that do not last that long. And we are gonna see how many we can get and how long they're gonna last for 24 hours with this crazy little tank we got going on. Nice little school right here. If I can just get down enough without falling in. Just one, oh. There we go, got like five. I see a nice little squad under these lilies right here that just swam underneath. Let's see if we could just go really fast. Nice. I even saw some of those little spotted ones too, the mosquito fish. Maybe we'll try to snag one of them. Got like one, two, three, four. Good, these are good sized ones. See? got one of the spotted ones right in there. Someone said these are Dalmatian mollies. These are not Dalmatian mollies. These are mosquito fish and that's it. Flipping and flopping and flippity floppity. Especially the body structure, it's all the same. I mean, you know, I mean, they, they could definitely be a hybrid form of it, but these are all mosquito fish. Unfortunately, not mollies. Yes, and these are the size we needed, ones that'll last a little bit longer. Ooh, I see another little spotted one over here. See if I can get him, if I can keep an eye on him. Whoop. Got him. Hiding under the lily pad, but I still got him. So we're looking at about a dozen mosquito fish as well as two spotted ones. Both look like males. So I think we're almost done, thank goodness. kind of do sometimes just wish we had a little feeder fish tank so I could let these minnows get a little bit bigger and even breed the little spotted mosquito fish just to see you know how the fry come out and to see if they come out even a little spotted or they develop the spots over time pretty interested I don't know just not setting up another tank at this time accidentally scooped up a little snail right here we're gonna throw him back just because they may carry some parasites sometimes and I just don't want an infestation if that's a pregnant mama snail one more little scoop, even if I just get a couple and that's it, I'm done. Dude, it's such a pain because I gotta get so close to them as opposed to if I had the net with the longer pole on it. Jeez, and when you walk up on them, that's it. Boom, they're gone like lightning. Kind of like right about. Ugh. All right, that makes that. Fun fact, why these are called mosquito fish is because they actually eat the mosquito larvae in the canals 
and they always tread on top of the water in big schools like this, keeping the mosquito population to a low or minimum in South Florida. Okay, so I lied, last scoop. All right, that's it, what do we do, like four or five scoops? That's enough, we got about same amount as the other day, except these are bigger, so I'd say we have about 20 of them right now. Let's see how long these last. Will they last 24 hours? I hope so. All right, picking the last couple ones out. Nah! All right, boom. Boom. Another little one, let's keep the algae. No! Kick, kick, kicking. Messy algae out. There ain't anything left? Nope, that looks about it. All right, we're good. All right, so they're back there waiting in the car. Time to pack up my nets, my little kitten caboodle, and bring these minnows back home. Now, unfortunately, the spotted mosquito fish are going to be put in the tank with the others as food. And I've tried to save them and put them in with the white goldfish that we have, but the goldfish seems to fancy them too as food and eats them without any hesitation. And currently with six fish tanks, I'm not setting up another tank, not right now. All right, and we'll see you back home. All right, so we're back home. These minnows made it through the ride really well. Just gonna acclimate them really quick and we're gonna put them in the tank. And now comes for the moment of truth. How many will last? for 24 hours. One's already swimming belly up. All right, so we're gonna pour them all into the net. Really fast so none of them fall down the drain. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Wish I could just catch them out of the canal just like this. I'd save so much time. And now to place them in the tank. All right. You could tell that one that wasn't doing so well, he's kind of just floating around in there, but the rest seem like they're doing well. Here's gonna be the big moment. Satisfied content right there. There we go, now we're back to a full minnow tank. I think they do so much better when they're actually in a big squad like this because they can just blend in a little bit more. Now I'm gonna let these guys sit for a few days. I mean, if we're lucky enough to have the spotted mosquito fish actually still be here in a couple days, maybe I'll add them to the Paku tank. They'll probably have a better chance at a little bit of survival. I mean, they just look really cool. I mean, there are more than what I've actually expected out in these little schools in the pond. So they're not as rare as they really seem. So if they were like once in a lifetime, I would definitely save it and put it in a tank that I know it's not gonna be eaten. They just look really cool, you know? So I just like to admire them a little bit. There's the other one, just drifting away and hanging out. Get away, here comes a bass, get away. You look like you're marked. You're marked, marked for food, screaming, eat me. And shortly, if that one's still there, I'll go ahead and I'll feed it to the, the crawfish. Now, realistically, this should last me weeks. As long as they eat, which they always eat so much every morning when I feed them, at least they have been before. But as long as they thrive in here, I mean, this should be a good, goodness, two weeks worth of food. But by the way, this bass is eating and they're mediocre size. Uh, there's no telling. Now you can tell the males right there because they have that long stick that comes out of the bottom, the one on the right, or on the bottom now, and then the one on top of it is a female. And those are the ones that tend to get pregnant. Now the one in the middle right now, that is a female as well, except it's a little bit of a juvenile size, and that is an adult male size all the way on the bottom right there, in the middle now. No, we are, whoa, we are schooling now. Minnows on minnows on minnows on minnows on minnows. That's awesome. All right, so stay tuned for the rest of this video. I'll do an update in a day or two, and we'll see how many more minnows are left. And until then, stay adventurous. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button if you like this video, and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. Stay adventurous. A1A Adventure.
bonus footage. It is the next morning, and there is only a handful. I'd say about there's seven, seven or eight. That's it. The rest were all devoured and destroyed overnight by these guys. These guys are savage beasts. Look at them. They're just crazy. This spikes an aggression like no other whenever there's minnows involved. Oh, goodness. So now I'm gonna have to clean that up. I'm gonna have to give those to the crawfish. I mean, you guys are just savages. You just don't stop. Animals. True animals. The bass ate several as well, which is good. Almost spikes like a protection instinct in them just to protect their area or, you know, where they sleep and they just, one, two, three. Holy cow. So this crawfish already got one. This one's anxiously waiting. So let's go ahead and just drop one in any day now. It's right there. There you go. With still five left, not gonna let that food go to waste. I guess we're just gonna freeze them and save them for snacks for these beasts. And these guys are already going ham for flakes. I just put flakes in here. So what happens overnight is they're probably going nuts trying to eat those minnows, but they're too big. So they wound up killing them instead. Oh, such is nature.